The Dodgers implemented a number of changes to Dodger Stadium this year, one of them being seating changes designed to bring fans closer to the players. Well, one such player some fans in Los Angeles didn't much care to be all that close to on Tuesday was the Giants' Barry Bonds, who, despite being on the DL, was on the field before the game. When spotted, fans started booing. Outfielder, Outfielder number, 25, number 25, Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. Well, for once, it wasn't Milton Bradley being booed. Bottom six, bases loaded for Bradley with a fly ball to right, but Michael Tucker drops it. Jason Repko is going to come in and score. The Giants get the force out at second. It's 8-4 Giants. Bottom seven, bases loaded for former Giant Jeff Kent. And Kent is going to ground it to third. Nice play by Edgardo Alfonso, who steps on third and throws to first to get the out. Bottom nine now, Dodgers down three runs. They were down five nothing before they even got to the plate. Bases loaded, two outs, Armando Benitez working on Kent. And Kent, this time he draws the walk. Ricky Lede is gonna score. It's a two run game. Next batter, Milton Bradley. Three men on, two men out, the pitch. Swing, line drive, base hit to left field. And it goes by Ellison. His current scores. Drew scores. Kent all the way around with the winning run. Jason Ellison punishing the ball. The Dodgers come back to win it 9-8. Here's Gary Miller now in the Dodger fans. Their worst start in team history. Entered Tuesday night's game with the D-backs having only won once. Sean Chacon, 11-8 with a 4-6 ERA as a closer in 2004. Only 1-9 with a 7-11 ERA. Chacon had this to say before his start in 05, first start. I think a lot of people, maybe fans more than people in baseball, have forgotten I was a pretty damn good starter. This is where I belong in the rotation. Will Chacon getting Sean Green and then working on Quentin McCracken gets him with the inside pitch. Top of the fifth, Brandon Webb working on Brad, Brad Hopp. That's a top play nominee. Hopp hits into the unusual 5-6-3 double play. And Royce Clayton's going to suck that one up. Bottom six, Chacon. Still working it. Clayton on third. Chacon gets Troy Gloss swinging. Gloss leaves Clayton stranded. He worked six innings, gave up six hits and one run. Chacon turns it over to the bullpen. Bottom eight tied at two. Ryan Spire working on Royce Clayton. Clayton drives in the go-ahead run, and the D-backs go on to win it. Tim Hudson made his Turner Field debut for the Braves Tuesday night against the Nationals. Second inning, Hudson facing Christian Guzman. May I help you? No thanks, I'm just looking. Third inning, Jamie Carroll swinging. Sixth inning, Jose Guillen. Going four, six, three. Hudson, eight innings of work, just one earned run, struck out six with a little help from his friend. So now, he just needs new closer, Dan Kolb, to help him out, to shut it down. Kolb in a bit of trouble. Bases loaded for Ryan Church, nobody out. Over to Chipper Jones, gets the force out at home, so one away. Kolb now facing Christian Guzman. Lifts it up into the air. It'll be good for a sack fly. Run scores. And it's 3-2. Braves still on top. Two outs now for Brian Schneider. Oh, and Brian's not ready to go home just yet. Into the gap. Two runs score. Kolb gave up three runs in the ninth. He spoils Hudson's home debut as the Nationals take it 4-3. The Blue Jays going for four straight wins in Oakland Tuesday night. Top of the fourth. Blue Jays down 2-1. Two, 2-1 one, two, one for Eric Hinsky. Working on Danny Heron. And he works him for the three-run shot. That's Hinsky's third home run of this young season. Bottom seven. Oakland down two runs. Charles Thomas up with two on. Works out one to left. Reed Johnson makes a nice running catch. Prevents two runs from scoring. And Toronto hangs on 5-2. Angels and Rangers sit back and relax and enjoy this. Top of the third, Vladimir Guerrero showing off some versatility, showing he's more than a power hitter. Working on Chris Young. Takes a ball inside. Second pitch called strike. Third pitch fouls it off. Fourth pitch fouls it off again. Fifth pitch takes it inside. Sixth pitch fouls that one back. Seventh pitch. You guys relax. Go to the fridge. Get some milk. Eighth pitch. Ninth. Fouls that to right. Tenth pitch. Fouls that one back. On the 11th pitch, finally, he connects with the base hit to left. And then in the same inning, Vlad on second, showing off some base running skills. He's going to steal third. The wild throw by Rod Barajas. The ball hits Vlad in the leg. 
He's going to score limping home. 4-1 Angels. Take another look. He gets hit right on the knee. He would remain in the game. And then in the top of the fourth, there he is again. He hits it to Young. Garajas can't make the catch. Second error of the game. Now, the Angels get the win. But Guerrero left in the fifth with a bruised knee. He's day-to-day. -day. Said he doesn't expect to miss any time. Piece of information, the Twins have won the last three AL Central Division titles. Now, Dimitri Young on Sunday thinks that the Twins' reign is over. He said, quote, this Cleveland is our rival here. Forget the other teams. I think it's going to come down to us and them for the division. Top of the first, two outs, Young with the slow roller up the middle. Carlos Guillen scores, and it's one nothing Tigers. We're going to go straight up to the eighth inning. Bottom eight, Tigers lead it 4-3. Tory Hunter with the chopper right over the head of Brandon Inge. The game is tied at four. Now keep this in mind. Closer Troy Percival has never allowed an earned run in 40 innings pitched against the Twins. Bottom nine, game tied at four. Shannon Stewart working on Percival. And he works him for a double. Lou Ford's going to score. And the Twins, not Dimitri Young's rival, takes this one 5-4. Orioles and Devil Rays from Tropicana Field. Folks in Baltimore are like, what's up with this Sosa guy? I thought he hit a lot of home runs. No home runs, no RBI through six games. It's a young season. As an Oriole. Top first, one nothing Orioles. Sosa down the line. Could it be? And it's foul. No. Foul ball. Take another look at it. Very close call. Sosa thought it was gone. But the umpire says, slow your roll, Sammy. Foul ball. Top third, Orioles down 3-1. to one. Sammy up again. No doubt about this one. Well, you can say he's first of the season, first as an Oriole, number 575 for his career. Top four, now Orioles down 3-2. Brian Roberts, everybody said it was going to be a big season for him, and so far it has been his fourth home run of the season already. He's been providing the power. The Orioles up 4-3. Top eight tied at five, Larry Bigby. That'll bring in a run. Jay Gibbons scores. Orioles take the lead, and they go on to win it 7-6 over the race. And the Marlins, Pat Burrell started the season off on fire. He's hit a home run in three straight games. He leads the majors with 17 RBI, which is the highest total after 10 days of the season since expansion in 1969. Others have come close. Jeremy Burnitz, Mark McGuire, and Tony Armas each had 16 RBI apiece. So will Burrell's streak continue? Second inning, runner on first. Lace that one. But nothing would become of it. Bottom four, Marlins trailing 2-0. Mike Lowe up and out off Randy Wolf, who came in 2-10 versus the Marlins. He gave up seven hits and five runs in six innings of work. Game tied at two. Same score, runner on third in the fifth. Miguel Cabrera robbed by Jimmy Rollins from his knees. Juan Pierre scored. Marlins up 3-2. To the ninth now. A.J. Burnett going for the complete game, which would be his first since August of 2002. With two men on, he gets Jim Tomey looking. He struck out three. Next batter is Burrow, and he got him two. Marlins win at 8-2. Burrow, no RBI. He went one for fourth plate. Burnett with his 11th career complete game. Bottom five, two to one Brewers. Brady Clark at bat with one on. Clark, a little pop up into foul territory and left. Craig Wilson, give me some gloves. Almost into the stands. We may see him later on the Sports Center, the top play nominee. Pittsburgh, just one home run in 268 team at bats this season. 56 innings this season with no home runs. Top six, Darrell Ward. Update, the Pirates back on the board with a home run. 3-2 Pirates, second home run this season for Pittsburgh. Bottom six, Mark Redmond facing Carlos Lee off Redmond's knee. Redmond said it felt like a gunshot. Take another look at it. He told Lloyd McClendon, Skip, I'm finishing this inning. X-rays were negative. He did finish the inning. Five hits, five Ks, and six innings of work. Bottom seven, J.J. Hardy up with a man on. He's dialing long distance, but Craig Wilson hung up on him. Jeff Jenkins can't believe it. The Pirates win it 4-2. After starting the season 3-0, the Reds have dropped three straight all on the road in St. Louis Tuesday night. Check that out. It's CNC, and then Cincinnati, or something like that, on Aaron Harang's jersey. Bottom second, Harang in a bit of trouble. Bases loaded for Jason Marquis with only one out. Rips out one, clears the bases. The first career triple for Marquis. For the next inning, the Reds get Harang in New Jersey. They fixed that, so it now does say Cincinnati. <laughs> you know what? Since there's no I in team. There you go. <laughs>
But you know what? It didn't help us pitching much. much. Bottom six, Jim Edmonds at the plate. And all Ken Griffey Jr. can do is watch that one. I guess you can say he dotted that Yeah, out. he's not even going to try on that one. So he'll shot put St. Louis up 4-1. Next batter, Reggie Sanders working on the 0-1 pitch. And he works that one out for a solo shot. Harain gave up five runs on five hits in six innings as the Reds remain winless on the Top plays. Number 10, takes us to Des Moines, Iowa. Family's dog helps out by taking care of a litter of stray kittens. Who says that was a cat? Uh, the warm and fuzzy part of the show. Number nine, <laughs> Jazz and Clippers. Marco Yarek putting on a show. First with the reverse laying on the baseline. And then Yarek giving it up to Elton Brand, who slams home the deuce. Number eight from Trent, New Jersey, in the Delaware River, a white beluga whale wandered off course more than 60 miles from the Delaware Bay. Number seven, Pirates and Brewers, bottom five, Brady Clark to left. Craig Wilson with an extra long run, but he's going to be rewarded for his efforts. Wilson making the grab. And then he victimizes J.J. Hardy. Deep left field. Wilson goes back. Hey, what do you know, Michelle? I got to play with people this time. <laughs> Nationals and the Braves, Chipper Jones. Luis Ayala turning it into a double play. Uh, the Nationals going to win it 4-3. Well, number five, we're going to stay in Atlanta. Nationals, Brian Schneider having yeah, issues with the bat. Three people catching it on the short hop. Nicely done. And they're going to keep the bat. Number four, Sunnyvale, California. Local officials bring in... Back to the animals. 760 sheep and goats to eat away an overgrown field. They said it helps prevent wildfires. wonder if it will work on my lawn. Number three, ESPN Bowling Night. Willis McGahee with um, what I'd say is not exactly the orthodox release, but you know what? Whatever works. Watch it. He gets them all to fall. McGahee's 206 in game two gives him the win. Wow, 206. Pretty good. Willis was digging it. I guess he was. Number two, Phillies and Marlins. Miguel Cabrera up the middle. Jimmy Rollins says, give me that. From his knees, in time. I like that. Stop, well, drop, and J-roll. Number one, Dodgers. Dodgers and Giants. Milton Bradley at the plate. And it goes 